Hi, welcome bike. Today I'm going to share with you what I eat every day, three times a day, every month, every year, literally. First, let's talk about what all stuff one needs to eat for a normal, healthy lifestyle. I was just searching the internet and found this site, nutritionfacts.org. Well, the name is perfect. It tells facts about nutrition. What else do I need? I went in and watched a bunch of videos. Dr. Michael Greger does meta-analysis of the latest research on the topic under question and makes bite-sized videos and also publishes any updates when new research comes out. So, he created this diet called Daily Dozen, which is more like a checklist on what to eat every day to maintain optimum health. The keyword is optimum. So, even if you follow the checklist sloppily, it's not so bad. So what I did was to take a checklist and modify it according to what I can afford because I'm broke and also according to what is available in my locality because this diet is made by someone who lives on the other side of the planet. So here's the checklist. Berries, I skip them well because they are kind of expensive. Fruits, I eat whichever are available cheaper due to them being seasonal. Ground flaxseed, I add this on top of my breakfast before eating. Nuts, we just need to eat 30 grams per day. I count and eat 10 almonds, 1 walnut and 3 pistachios every day. That comes to about 15 grams. And the remaining, I eat roasted peanuts. Oh, I love peanuts. I buy peanuts and I dry roast them myself without oil. Apart from these, I also eat roasted sesame seeds. I roast them myself in the same manner as peanuts. But they don't come under nuts, they are seeds. I do calisthenics for exercise. You know if you watch my other videos. And for beverages, I just drink water. Too much work to make tea. And everything else goes into my cooking, which is the next video in this playlist. You can also find it in the description. I don't eat greens every day because it's inconvenient to go to the store and buy them every day or even every other day. They spoil very fast and I don't like to go out much. But I do eat a bit of spinach once or twice a week and mint and curry leaves every day. But that's far less than the recommended quantity of greens per day. I get them once per week when I go out to get other veggies. But if you can, you should eat them every day. I would if I can. So overall, we need brains, oops, uh, beans and grains. Two types of veggies, greens and spices remaining from the checklist. Now, what are beans? This is not a science class, so let's just take some examples. Soybeans, black beans, cow peas, kidney beans, chickpeas, etc. And lentils are also beans like red lentil, brown lentil, yellow lentil, Bengal gram, etc. And then grains, wheat, brown rice, barley, oats, bajari or pearl millet, jawari or sorghum, other millets, even popcorn or whole bread wheat. Cruciferous veggies are veggies like cauliflower, cabbage, radish. I just use cabbage mostly because it just stays like forever in the fridge. And other veggies can literally be any other veggies. I generally pick random cheaper ones from the market as long as I eat a variety of them over weeks. I don't really need to worry about which of them I'm eating and which of them I'm not. Now let's talk about the cooking because I don't really talk about it in the next video. My current cooking procedure and diet has been a result of trial and error experiments with the ingredients and their measurements like what stuff do I add, what stuff do I remove etc over the past couple of years. Before that I just ate whatever my mom cooked in the house for everyone else. First of all, I feel cooking is a waste of time. If there was an affordable, nutritious and healthy way of cooking once and eating all year long, I would do it. Another thing that I feel is a waste of time is deciding what to cook. Like you have a variety of stuff in your house and you can cook a lot of variations with them. And you'll be like, okay, I cooked that just yesterday. So I don't want to eat the same thing again today. Maybe I'll cook this or that. I just gave myself only one option to choose from and it saves time in deciding. Initially, I did used to have two or three options. For example, I used to cook soybeans plus lentils plus wheat plus rice one day and chickpeas plus lentils plus soy chunks plus millets plus oats the other day and some other combination another day just to make myself feel like I'm not eating boring same thing every day. But that was inefficient and I don't do that anymore. I just mix everything now. I'd rather have my limited energy spared to do other important stuff like reading or writing the script for this video or making this video or just staring at the wall. This method of cooking once per day also saves time in another way. It takes about an hour per day for me to cook for my three meals of the day. 
I don't need to cook again and again for every meal. Even this cooking time can be reduced by a lot more. If you cut huge pieces of veggies instead of small, use ginger garlic paste instead of peeling ginger and garlic or avoid it completely and dump everything in the pressure cooker instead of steaming veggies separately. I do this now and then when I don't feel like cooking even once in a day, but I can't skip cooking altogether because if I don't, I'd need to cook later anyway. And it takes me about 20 minutes to do that ultra fast cooking. Obviously, the cooker takes its separate time to cook and give whistles and depressurize, but I can just go and lie down in the meanwhile. I don't need to be actively there to cook the pressure cooker. One more thing is if you notice in the next video, I'd be putting about 100 grams of beans and grains. I reached that number gradually after trying with different quantities. Now those numbers are perfect for me. If I cook a bit less, I'd get hungry faster. And if I cook a bit more, I can't finish it up in a meal. So that's it. Tell me what you think about my cooking in the comments. Ask me if you have doubts too. Thanks for coming to my sloppy cooking. See you in the next one. If I cook a bit less, I'd hung, I'd get. If I go, if I, if I, if I cook a bit less, I'd get hungry faster.